everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. Except I clearly have tea today, but it's delicious. It's my little explore mug. So today's video is going to be the Fairy Loot September 2021 Uprising Unboxing. So let's just get into it. So I'm really excited about this box. I really like the theme. I'm really excited to see what's inside. I believe that I know the book and I think there's another book, which I thought they were only doing that last month, but apparently they're doing that two months in a row, which is nuts. So excited to see. Let's look together. Open it up. So right off the bat, what I see is this pair of socks, which is super cute. And if this is inspired by six crimson cranes, it's these really pretty like pastel socks that has all these cranes on them. I absolutely love getting fun socks and like colored socks. I never wear plain socks. So I love getting fun socks anytime for gifts, but also in boxes. So this is super fun and they're really cute and they feel very cozy. Okay, the next thing I see is this felt type thing. I'm not really sure what this is. Let's see what it is. Okay, it's a tapestry. This looks... So this is a tapestry. It looks like this. The artwork is absolutely stunning. Really pretty. I really like this. We've been getting a lot of like hanging things in boxes recently, or maybe it's just my boxes. D O S A B tapestry. D O S A B. I need a spoiler card. <laughs> spoiler card. Has this artwork on it because I need to know what that is. Daughter of Smoke and Bone. So this tapestry is Daughter of Smoke and Bone inspired. That makes way more sense now that I see her blue hair. That's really pretty and really cool. The next thing I see is this tray and I believe this is the item that some people did not get in last month's box so they put it in this month's box. I was one of those people, so this is from last month's box or was supposed to be and it is a little tray, super cute. And it says, it wasn't the end, it was a better beginning by Eden Thomas. And this is inspired by Cemetery Boys. So this is really cute. Dishwasher and freezer safe. You can use it to display little treats. The next thing I see is this little envelope that says the prison healer. Card holder. Okay. This is really handy. So this is like a tiny little wallet. So you know those like little card holders where it's just this little entity and you can put stuff in the top and there's little slots in the front for cards. I love stuff like this because I rarely take my huge wallet or even like a purse. I don't really carry bags with me that often. So things like this are perfect for me and this is inspired by the prison healer. So it's got these really pretty flowers on it. Super handy, super cute. The next thing I see is this other envelope that says an ember in the ashes and it looks like this is an enamel pin. So let's open this up. It's cute that they have this little envelope just for the enamel pin. <gasps> Ooh. It has a quote from the book that's in a different language. So if I butcher that, forgive me, but it says, Imithal Theradont, may death claim me first. And it looks like this. Hopefully you can see that. It's really pretty. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Never thought I would be an enamel pin person until I started getting book boxes. And I have a lot of them. Um, so the next thing I see is the second book that we're getting that is a paperback. And it is... <gasps> it's Beasts of Prey by Anya Gray. Except it's this really cool... It's got a different cover. So it says The Hunt Begins like it says on the other book, but instead of like green and yellow, it's like teal and pink. I actually, okay, I have the arc right here so I can show you to compare what the covers would look like. So this is the difference. Really cool. So I have actually read this and my review is up and I can link my review for this down below. But it doesn't look like it has sprayed edges or anything like that. Let me flip through it. Um, it is signed, that's pretty cool. 
Fairy Loop exclusive edition. So yeah, that's cool. It's just a alternative cover paperback and it's signed. So that's really nice. I'm actually really glad I have this because I have the arc of this book and I wanted to buy a finished copy, but now maybe I won't because I have this edition. That's super fun. That's great. And I'm sure there's like tarot cards in here. So let me get to those. Okay. The next thing I see are these tarot cards. I'm so excited. So we have the four of pentacles and the three of pentacles. And that has to be Jax from Caraval. I don't know who the other one is. Is this falling star let's see okay this month's collectible tarot cards are the three and four of pentacles they are designed by Gana o, o anagram i struggle saying her name every time and it features Jax and the fallen star from the carvel series by stephanie garber i was right and that's super exciting i'm totally keeping all my carvel tarot cards and these are gonna go right with those super glad we have one of Jax now and of the fates i would like to see more of the fates because then it's like a deck of destiny. Yes. Yay. All right, now we're at the book. So let me get this out. And I'm going to try to reach in here and pull out all the papers so I don't so I can get to those first. Okay. This is difficult to do blind. So obviously we have our monthly bookmark. Uprising. Ooh, this is so cool looking. This is the author letter and art print. This art is so cool. I love their outfits. I love the artist. Like I love how the art is done. Super cool. And then there's a typed author letter on the back. Our fairy scoop. And next month is, next month's theme is broken hearts, which if that's not once upon a broken heart, fairy loot played us, but it has to be. It has to be once upon a broken heart. And I'm gonna lose my ever loving mind because I love Caraval and once upon a broken heart. So now the book in here oh it's upside down and backward okay so it is defy the night by Bridget Kimmerer which is what I thought the book was going to be um I'll have to see what the difference is between this book and the UK edition because I'm not sure but it's got these holographic letters and the spine and beautiful purple sprayed edges oh and a ribbon bookmark which is awesome and super great. Okay, it doesn't seem like the cover is very different. It's more so everything else, like the ribbon bookmark and the sprayed edges. And then the end papers look like this, and they are different. It is signed by the author. It's a map. I love maps in books. I'm, I'm really excited about this book. I've actually really been wanting to read this book, and I know it came out before I got my fairy loot, and I've been like reining myself in, not buying it, so that because I knew I was going to get it. And I can't wait to read it. All right, so let's see what this dust jacket stuff, everything is about. It looks like this. I really like it. I really like the castle. And I've told you before, I really like how they did the character artwork. It's really pretty. There's just a simple little fleur de lay, I think is what it is, but a little foil embossing in this really pretty pinkish purple. And then Defy the Night on the spine. So it's a little different and I'm very excited to read this. So the synopsis for this book says, Spark of Rebellion is all it takes to defy the night. The Kingdom of Calandia is on the brink of disaster. Rifts between sectors have only worsened since the sickness began ravaging the land, and the only known cure, an elixir made from the moonflower petal, is severely limited. Within the royal palace, the king holds a tenuous peace with a ruthless hand. Out in the wilds, apothecary apprentice Tessa Cade is tired of seeing her neighbors suffering ignored by the unyielding royals. Every night, she and her best friend, Wes, risk their lives to steal moonflower petals and distribute the elixir to those who need it most, but it's still not enough. As rumors spread that the cure no longer works and sparks of rebellion begin to flare, a particularly cruel act from the king's justice makes Tessa desperate enough to try the impossible, sneaking into the palace, but what she finds on the inside makes her wonder if it's possible to fix Kandala. I said Kalandia, I think, but first it's Kandala without destroying it first. I'm very excited. I honestly didn't know a lot about this book, but I remember reading like a little synopsis or a little piece of it and being very intrigued. And this is the same author that wrote A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which I have the first of that series, but I haven't read it. 
but her ideas and her premises of her books really interest me. So I'm very excited to have this and to get to it. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for today's video. Please let me know what you thought of this box in the comments down below. If you've read that book, what did you think? What do you think of this edition versus the normal edition? Or the US edition, whatever. What was your favorite item in this box? What you would like to see Fairy Loot do sometime? Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you next time. Stay safe and caffeinated. Bye.